This is Lonnie Teepe here at Gold Gym Venice, Saturday, August 20th. The Olympia 202 is but four weeks away. Stan's training hard. You're looking great. About 215 pounds or so. Yeah, 215, uh, 218 on a good day when I eat some carbs. But, you know, I'll be 202 in four weeks. I have a lot better condition this year, a lot fuller, a lot more size. And I think I'll be more of a contender this year. I know David's out. He was deployed. And I heard that uh, Korea suffered an injury. Take away those two guys, we still have a great lineup. A lot of great bodybuilders chasing down Kevin English, who's won that three years in a row. Well, it's unfortunate Dave Henry won't be in this. The guy's probably, you know, one of the best physiques in the world. Um, but we do have someone uh, coming back, which would be uh, James Flex Lewis. In my opinion, he's probably the front runner. I mean, the guy's shape is phenomenal. Uh, of course, how can, how can you forget Jose Raymond? The guy's a beast, short, thick. Um, just a lot of quality muscle in that guy. But, I mean, the whole field, I mean, you can name the top six, seven guys this year. They're going to be phenomenal. Working with Dave Kalick this year once again on my nutrition. So we basically increased my calories a lot more. I never was a person to eat a lot of food. So we, we uh, started early in the year, vamped my uh, metabolism up. So I'm eating a lot more calories this year. Rumor has it Canoga Park is going to have a 20-year high school reunion. They're having a pose down. Do you have a shot at that next year? <laughs> Actually, we just had our 20-year Did you go? No, I, I did oh. not go, unfortunate, no. That would have been fun. You should have gone. <laughs> Could have danced with the shirt off. <laughs> yeah, those, no, those days are over. Uh, I'm married. I have a kid now. So, uh, yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, I got a beautiful wife uh, named Michelle from Canada. She's Where's Michelle? Oh, Michelle, yeah. come on in. Michelle. Come on in, eh? Welcome to the SoCal. Well, you've been out in SoCal, but you are yeah. Michelle. Yes, I'm Michelle McQuay. And you gave birth to this young man's yes, child. Who tells about your child? Uh, his name's Kai, and he's a little replica of his dad. Identical. I think uh, might even get into the field. He's quite the strong man already. Let me tell you, for six months, he's. What's uh, he weighing in at? <laughs> right now. Eight and a half, uh, 22 pounds. He's around there, 22, 23 pounds. Yeah. Well, so he looks like you, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, he does look like me, but. Uh, <laughs> no, he's, he's a, lot of, a lot to handle, but he's a lot of fun, too. Well, let me tell you, it's, it's tough enough training for a pro show, any show but a pro show. Now you got a little six-month-old probably keeping you up at night, crying. and Yeah, a lot of adversity this year, but, you know, I wouldn't trade it in, and uh, that's what's going to make me stronger this year. And I, this is one, one year I definitely won't forget. You know? let, let me ask you this. They call me the Swami. I do predictions. You're the Swamette. Okay. You tell the viewers right now. What place Stan the Man's going to take at the Olympia 202 and under? I say first all the way. He's first anyways, regardless to us, but I give him first this year. Wow. Yeah. Hey, what can I say? This girl idolizes you. <laughs> I don't know about idolizes, but, you know, what, what can I say? She's my wife. <laughs> she better idolize you, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stan, this is going to be the last year of the 202. They moved it up to 212 and under now, starting with that Sacramento show that you qualified in last year. Good move, bad move, not sure. Um, good, good move in the sense that I think it will bring a few more guys into the picture. But, I mean, to be honest with you, as long as the money is still, you know, where it's at, it's not going to make a difference. It was 202, 198, 212. I mean, there's, you know, until they bring the money up, it doesn't really make the category that exciting for a lot of guys to come in and want to drop to 212. Um, most of those guys that are doing it, I mean, obviously, we really must love the sport if we're competing for $5,000 at a pro show. So, you know, until they bring the money up, it doesn't make a difference what the weight is. You think you're going to be competing a lot longer. A lot of guys now, two guys, 45 years old and 44 years old, just won pro shows, and Tony Freeman and Troy All. So in the past when people retired at 35 or 36, it isn't happening now. They're going another 10 years and looking great. Yeah, I mean, you know, they say you're in your prime in your mid-30s, but I think like they, like they say, the 40s and new 30, you know, uh, I think a lot of the guys weigh the nutrition and the diet and the food are these days and people take care of themselves a lot better. I think we can go a lot, lot longer in this sport. So you don't have really an, an end in sight. You're just going to keep on going as long as you're still having fun and being competitive. Yeah, basically that's what it's about. I mean, as long as you're having fun and you don't view it as work or it's not stressing you out too much, I mean, why not? Keep doing it. Well, Stan be the man Stan at, the, man. <laughs> at the Olympia in four weeks. We'll find out. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Lonnie. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.